today we're going to do a numbers video on stocks and how you can pull different information from Yahoo Finance and put it right into a spreadsheet. So if you notice on this spreadsheet, what I have here in the first row are the symbols of the stocks that we want to get information from. And in the first over here on the left, you'll see the, the things that I want to pull from Yahoo Finance. So, the first thing here is name. Now, I'll explain what these numbers are as we go along. So, we're going to come in here, and you're going to click or hit equal. It brings up your formula bar. Now, you can drag this around if you want to get it out of the way so you can see something. And what we're going to key in here is stock because there's there now there's a stock formula now if you look off to the right you'll see what that stock function gives you and if you look at this you'll see there are numbers here asking price 13 52 week low 12 52 week high 11 that's what i put over here in these labels for a quick reference now, in the first one, we want to get the name. So, well, how we're going to get the name is we're going to click on the symbol, and it's going to replace this first portion of our formula with that cell. Now, if you notice, it's B dollar sign one. So, if you if we click on this, because people will ask, what is that? All right, that's what's called an absolute reference. Now, you can have an absolute reference on both the row and the column. In this case, we only want the row because when we go to these other companies, we want it relative to that column. In other instances, you may want to put something in one cell in one row and one column and have everything else reference that and we'll, we'll get into that maybe tomorrow on another uh, video so anyway so here now instead of price you don't want price yet i have that listed as sep separate we want name and you just if you see how i did that you click here and select from this list you'll see you have all these different things to select from name hit your return and there it is so all right so now we have our base formula you can click in that cell notice our yellow arrow click on it drag it down now it returns Apple Inc. because it's doing all of this in relevance to this cell. So you would come in here and you can change where it says name to price. And now you have your price. You can also, because I'm if you do it again, if, if you come over and you do show formula as text. Now, see, it. we have volume is 8, so you can just put your cursor where the 1 is, take the 1 out, replace it with an 8, return, and there's your volume. You can do it either way, whichever way is more comfortable for you. So let's just go down here and we'll do the rest of these. 52-week high. All right, 52-week low. Annual dividend. Earnings per share. Now, just to show you how you can do it again. So, earnings per share is 21. So, you just text to return. PE ratio is 23. Okay. All right. So let's format this up a little bit. So we'll come in here and we'll go over to format and we'll go to cell 
and we'll do number. Let's do currency. We want two decimal points. And I like to have um, negative numbers show in red and parentheses. So we'll do this one first. Then you can come down, highlight all the others after volume. Go back over to numbers, currency, two decimal places, and select negative numbers. There you go. Now we have everything. Okay, so we have the company name. We have our price, the volume. Now all of this information is being pulled from Yahoo Finance. All right, and it will update as things change. So you have your 52-week high, 52-week low, dividend, so on and so forth. So now all you do is highlight that area. And you can either do a Command-C and then highlight the rest of the area and Command-V. Or our handy-dandy little yellow dot. Hold on it. Drag it across. Boom. There you go. All right. Notice we have couple of errors. Tesla and Vanguard perhaps don't give annual dividends. Hmm. This is indicating an error in our formula. So what do we do? All right. So if you click on this, it's going to show you the formula. So let's go show formula as text. Now I'm going to show you if you click to the beginning and you type in if error okay and open paren so now what's going to happen it's going to do the stock function and pull in the dividend but then at the end it's going to do that first internally then you're going to do a comma and you're going to put in whatever it is you you want it to show so we're going to do quote uppercase n slash uppercase a close quote, and close parenthesis. All right? That's what it looks like if you type it in. Here's what it will look like if you show it as a tokens. Okay? You see? And then you just hit your green arrow, and there it is. All right. Now you can just do Command-C, come over, Command-V, there you are. Now, I don't particularly care for the look where it's on the left, so all you would do is go into text, center it, all right. So one other thing, maybe you want these two or anything that you put an if error uh, formula and maybe you want it to stand out. One of the things you can do is go to cell and go to conditional highlighting. Click on it. Add a rule. All right. So since this is text, we've replaced a, a zero or an error with text. So you click on text and you're going to say is because this is a specific, right? Now, and then you put in what it is. So uppercase N slash uppercase A. Now, it defaults to bold, but you have other options. If you click on that, you can do red text, green text, blue, gray, or you can do these color fills. So let's do orange. And we can come over here, add a rule. Text is n slash a, and um, eh, maybe take a different color. Let's make it green. There you go. But you can make it the same color, whatever whatever you want to do, um, and then just hit done, and that brings you back to your format. So now you have stocks that you can watch see the volume, the price, the current price rather, 52-week high, low, annual dividend, earnings per share, and P-E ratio. And again, in that formula, you can see there's a whole slew of other things to 
pull from. You can make it as as um, elaborate as you want, whichever fits your need. So hopefully this was helpful. I'll come back with another video on how to take some of this and, and uh, do some other stuff with it. All right. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much. And don't forget to hit the like. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.